You know, I love reviewing hardware. You know, as a technologist, I just love to get my hands on new toys, laptops, whatever I can. It's always a lot of fun. I've done several laptop reviews on my channel so far, and you guys seem to like those videos quite a bit, judging by the view count, which is relatively high on those. So in today's video, I'm doing another hardware review, but this time it's with a desktop. This is the Zerizen Virtus 9200, which Zerizen was kind enough to send me for a review. I've had a lot of fun working with this desktop. And, you know, actually I caught up with Zerizen at PenguCon. It's a convention that I go to every single year. I have a lot of fun there. And they had a booth there, so I got caught up with them and, and got to meet several individuals from Zerizen, which was awesome. And one thing led to another, and we have this desktop right here in my possession, which I've had for um, just under a week. I've been using this machine quite a few days now, running through my normal use cases on here, even playing some games. So in this video, we're going to check out the Virtus 9200. Okay, so here we have the actual desktop itself. And one of the things I love about this desktop is that its footprint is relatively small. I'm not sure how it appears in the video, but you know, it is a relatively small machine. Certainly a lot smaller than my desktop at home, which is almost twice the size. Mine at home is probably about, um, just to give you a comparison, it's almost like a cube. And this one takes up a lot less space and I, I actually really prefer that. And this desktop is actually very quiet. Now my desktop at home, I just went out of my way to make it quiet. I put water cooling in there that's like a, a Corsair water cooler. I put rubber gaskets on the fans. I sourced a really quiet power supply. I've went all out. It took a lot of work. But this particular model doesn't have water cooling. It's an option. The one that was sent to me didn't have that. It's really quiet. And when I'm recording YouTube videos, it's actually really important to have a quiet desktop because the last thing you want to hear is a noisy fan. In the background, um, you know, you might be hearing the air conditioner in the background here at this location, but you're certainly not hearing this computer. And I think that's awesome because it gives me a little bit of uh, desktop envy. Like, um, yeah, I wish I would have went with this one, but I'll go ahead and turn it around so you can kind of see the open case here. So um, as you can see, the, the internals here, uh, we have a really cool um, CPU fan, you know, right here that's got more of like a LED rainbow color effect going on. So that's really awesome. And uh, the internals look really good too. So I just love the fact that we have this glass panel on the side so we can see all the cool things here on the inside. Now, one thing about the uh, CPU fan is that um, my understanding is that you may or may not get an LED fan option if you were to order this. I believe that they're testing that. And, um, you know, so just keep that in mind when you go to spec this machine out. You can go on their website and you can um, customize your own Virtus 9200. And depending on when you do that, the um, LED CPU fan that you see here, it may or may not be an option, but I just wanted to give you that disclaimer. But I think that the build quality is really nice. It's got a little bit of heft to it. This isn't like a really, you know, super light desktop that, you know, you're going to carry around with you, obviously. It's all metal, so this isn't plastic. We got the um, glass side panel here. And then, um, of course, we on the other side is just going to be the um, standard, um, standard metal side panel here with a little vent here that's black that looks really nice. And then in the front, I'm not sure if it's going to come through. Well, obviously, we have the Zerizen. Um, logo down here. So, um, you know, we see that's coming through in the video just fine. So we got the little branding on here. There's also a fan vent up here at the top. So um, definitely getting a lot of ventilation here on this uh, desktop. So um, I, I really love the build quality of this machine. Okay, so here we are with the actual machine itself. This is recording directly off the HDMI port of the video card. So I wanted to show off some gameplay and I'll show you guys some specs and some information about the hardware itself. So this is running Ubuntu 18.04, that's what it's shipped with, which is fine for me because uh, all my configurations and preferences are good for Ubuntu anyway. 
And I did customize this a little bit. As you can see from the wallpaper, I basically just ran my typical Ansible configuration scripts, which I use on every laptop and desktop to make sure that all my favorite applications are installed. I did run through pretty much every use case that I have on this machine, gaming included. So I did make myself at home here. So of course, that's why you see that wallpaper. I'm somewhat of a space nerd, if you will. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the hardware itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the um, detail screen right here. This is from GNOME settings and it shows you some of the detail about this computer. You can see that it has an Intel Core i7 9700K processor with eight cores. This is a really f fast CPU. I really enjoyed working with this, this machine because it's just so fast. And this processor is a really awesome one. Now, it doesn't have hyper-threading, actually. It's, when it says eight cores, it's actually containing eight real cores, which is awesome. And hyper-threading, you know, not having that might seem like a bad thing, but with all of the security vulnerabilities nowadays on Intel CPUs that take advantage of hyper-threading, I'm kind of inclined to think that it might actually be a good thing and this CPU is fast regardless, so um, the eight cores is more than enough for me, and I've never had it slow down a single time. And on this screen, you could also see the type of video card it has, which um, is an RTX 2080 from NVIDIA. That's awesome. So I've been playing some games on this thing, and I will show you guys some gameplay footage here pretty soon, but it's a really powerful card, so I was really happy to see that that was included when this shipped to me. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and then it also has a solid state drive as well. Now, speaking of the video card itself, I'll go ahead and open the X server settings, which I actually already have open. And we can get some detail about the video card before I show you the gameplay footage later in the video. So if I scroll down here, you can see, you know, basically I'm running uh, 1080p right now. I was actually running this on a 4K screen when I was doing my testing at home. And the screen recorder is 1080p, so I'm limited to that in um, terms of recording footage for this video. But that's fine because, you know, 1080p is good enough for me. So if I go down here a little bit further, then you can see some more detail about the video card that it shipped with in this review unit. So go ahead and pause the screen if you wanted to take a look at these specs and uh, compare and contrast or whatever it is you'd like to do. But um, basically out of the box, the NVIDIA driver was set up for me. So I didn't have to do anything. All my games were, you know, I just had to download them. I didn't have to tweak anything. Everything worked out of the box. So that was awesome. So this video card is great and it's been performing very well for me, which you'll see pretty soon when I show off some footage of some games. So I'll just go ahead and close out of these apps right here. And I'll go ahead and open the system monitor. And move this into the center here. So over here on the resources tab, you can see the eight cores, which you know are, are pretty it's pretty much nothing going on right now. And then of course you can see the RAM that was allocated to it. You know, I did mention it was a 16 gigs in RAM, so it has that. And then on file systems, we can see that it has a 250 gigabyte NVMe drive, which has also been very fast for me as well. Next, let's open a terminal and I'll get you even more details about the hardware here. And I'll show you the LSPCI info. So here you can see some of the various pieces of hardware that come included here with the review unit. For example, you see the NVIDIA graphics card that I've already mentioned. And we also have a wireless AC 3168NGW. So that's the wireless card that it has there. Yes, it does have Wi-Fi, which is awesome. And then of course, Ethernet, if you prefer wired, it definitely supports that as well. But if you need any more information, well, this is probably all the information you would even need to know. So if you're curious if any of these modules are compatible with the Linux distro that you wanna run, well, you know, here you go. You can go ahead and pause the screen and you could check the compatibility accordingly. So um, this is basically the output of all of the PCI uh, modules on the machine. 
All right, and just um, HTOP, for example, I know I already showed you guys the system monitor, but I think that this comes through in the video better because I can have a higher font size here. So again, I'm not actually running anything right now. I literally just started uh, powered on this machine right before I hit the record button. But again, we have the eight cores and you can see idle. That's not really doing a whole lot. So a lot of resources are available for me and for me to go ahead and launch my application. So uh, definitely been performing very quickly. So um, I'm having a lot of fun with this machine and I really appreciate um, them sending this out to me. Go ahead and close this here and that. So in regards to of, uh, performance, one thing I like to do is open applications and just kind of see how fast they open up. That just gives us an idea of you know how fast the hard drive is and the CPU and things like that. Um, of course, this isn't a benchmark, but I think, in my opinion, it speaks for itself when you see the actual performance when opening applications. So I'll just randomly choose LibreOffice Writer, and of course, it opens pretty much instantaneously. A file window is obviously going to be pretty quick anyway. And then uh, GNOME software, which or actually this is Ubuntu software, pretty much the same difference. It's a heavier application and that was pretty much instant. Um, almost makes me wonder if that was preloaded in the background actually. But um, overall, this machine has been very fast for me. It's, it hasn't slowed down a single time. I, I just feel like it's really keeping up with me. And, you know, I always go through this machine envy. You know, this is a review unit and I have to send it back. Uh, which is a shame because I want to keep every machine that I get and it, it's greed. But um, honestly, this desktop has been very fast for me, very performant. And uh, it's just basically been a complete pleasure to use. I have nothing to complain about because um, at the end of the day, if it's stable and it's fast, I think that's really all anyone can ask for. Let's go ahead and check out some games. All right, guys. So here I am with Doom. And this is one of my favorite games to uh, test out on a Linux machine because it's somewhat demanding. And with an RTX 2080, I wanted to uh, definitely have a game that would give it a little bit of a workout. Now, sure, Doom is not necessarily the most advanced game ever made, but I think that it is a good example and it gives you a decent idea of how it performs. And I have the frames per second on the top right corner. Now, I'm going to basically give you a disclaimer that I'm going to really suck at this game because um, the mouse I'm using, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just kind of sticky. And... Um, yeah, with the recorder, screen recorder on here, it's actually causing somewhat of a delay that is not actually present on the uh, normal hardware without that. So I'm just going to go ahead and wander around here. So obviously there's not a whole lot of action just yet, but uh, here's some, some enemies. So let me go ahead and see if I can get these guys taken care of. And I'm not very good at first person shooter games, just so you know. Despite the fact that my mouse is uh, obviously giving me problems, um, it's just not something I'm very good at. However, um, even though I'm terrible at these games, I really do enjoy playing them. So um, I guess I'm a sucker for punishment, if you will. All right, so I'm just basically getting my butt kicked here. I have all kinds of demons coming at me. And we can see that the frames per second is staying pretty, uh, pretty high here. Now this is running at 1080p. I think I mentioned that the screen recorder is limited to 1080p. I was playing this game on my 4K display at home and I didn't have any problems. I did forget to have the frames per second meter running on that, but it, I didn't run into any performance issues at all. So I didn't basically have any problems with the performance. So as you can see, it's actually running very smoothly. So here we are with Borderlands 2, one of my favorite games. This is one of those that I install first because I, I just enjoy playing it. It's not very demanding, of course, but since I enjoy playing it, I definitely always want to have this one installed. And I do notice that there's a little bit of screen tearing, but that has nothing to do with this desktop actually. So I just wanted to give you that disclaimer. I'm sure there's some tweaks that I can use to minimize that. I just never really get around to customizing that. Every computer I've ever run this on has a little bit of tearing, but it's running very well. Even though this is an older game, and it's not gonna be particularly demanding. There's a lot of fast motion here. And despite the fact that I am very terrible at first person shooters, um, I think that this is actually performing well and I, I think it's running great. And if I survive long enough, if I can actually avoid and not get uh, annihilated by these things, um, I'll show you even more footage of it. All right, and uh, let's run over here and get owned by these guys. But you get the idea. Um, the game is running very well, and I think that 
obviously uh, this isn't going to be a challenge for the RTX 2080. I think that it's awesome to have this on Linux because, you know, it's very good that a Linux port actually exists for this game, which means that I'm able to play it without any kind of hacks. And of course I'm dead, which I knew that would happen anyway. But uh, there you go, that was Borderlands 2. All right, so here we are with one of my favorite games of all time, Final Fantasy VI. Now obviously this game, is, you know, from 1994 is not gonna tax an RTX 2080, let's be honest. But, you know, to be honest, I'll just use any excuse I can to show this game on my channel because it is my favorite game of all time. Now, um, you know, some people may not like the newer graphic style of the remake here, but you know, the thing is it's on Steam for Linux. So it's something, well, it's actually not native to Steam, but it's supported by Proton. So you could basically install this game and uh, you know, run it right from your Linux machine, which is awesome. So um, even though I'm not in a very interesting place in the game right now, um, like I said, I will use any excuse I can to show Final Fantasy VI on my channel. So here it is yet again. Um, and like I mentioned, one of my favorite games of all time. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend that you try Final Fantasy VI. All right, uh, here's XCOM 2. And, you know, this is one of those games that I really haven't played much. And I wanted to get this in the video because I know a lot of people love this game. A lot of people recommend to me that I play it. So I wanted to definitely give it some coverage on my channel here and check it out myself. So I can't speak intelligently about this game or anything like that, but I thought it'd be fun to show it off. So let's go ahead and start a game. I skip the opening scenes here. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. So I'm not gonna show too much of this game here, but I definitely wanted to show XCOM 2 since it is a, uh, a favorite among the Linux games that are supported. But you can see it's running. Um, this is a, a tactical game. I'm going to start playing this uh, more so I can actually maybe include this on my channel more and speak intelligently about it. But you can see that uh, obviously XCOM 2 is running here. So let's check out another game. All right, so here I am with City Skylines, another one of my favorite games. And I just started playing this recently. So um, I kind of wish that I discovered this earlier because I've been a fan of SimCity for almost as long as I've been into video games. I played SimCity all the way since the very first one on the Super Nintendo and then I later uh, started playing the PC games and I've played all of them and enjoyed all of them. And here with City Skylines, I feel like it just captures a lot of the magic of SimCity, but the graphics are actually pretty good. Now I didn't tune up the graphics at all, so I didn't crank up the graphics settings or anything like that, but I, you can see that it's running very comfortably. And you know, this seems like a very simple game and it is for the most part. I mean, it's, it's simple in terms of graphics, but with the simulation, it actually can give a machine a workout. And this is not something that I've been able to run on integrated graphics. I've always needed something like NVIDIA or AMD gra graphics to run this. Well, there you go. Uh, that was my review on the Zerizen Virtus 9200. It's been a pleasure to use this machine. It's been a lot of fun and I've really enjoyed having it at the house. I wouldn't be sad to see it go, sad to send it back, but it's a great desktop. It's very fast. The gaming performance is great. I've run this through all of my test cases. It's just been an overall pleasure. And you saw the gameplay footage. So it's a great all around machine, whether you're doing, you know, you just want a general purpose desktop, you're playing games or whatever your use case happens to be, I find that this desktop is a great fit for that. So definitely check out the Virtus 9200 on the website. I'll have a link in the show notes below this video that'll get you directly there if you wanna check this out for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first desktop hardware review. Definitely a lot of fun and thank you to Zareason for lending me this desktop for the review. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you want to help me out, make sure you check out the description below this video where you'll find links to my latest book, Mastering Ubuntu Server, second edition, as well as my Patreon page. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share it on Twitter or any other social media network. And be sure to subscribe so you'll be the first to see my latest videos as they're uploaded. Thanks again.